Polish American community here. I attended a very nice event yesterday at the Golden Gate Park, celebrating the May uh, Constitution, which, as you know, as you mentioned already, is, uh, uh, makes us very proud as the second in the world after the American Constitution and the first yeah, in yeah, Europe. First in Europe. Uh, and a first in Europe, modern and democratic constitution, which tried to change uh, Poland into a modern country, introducing a number of concepts like separation of powers or the responsibility of government to the same, which even today, according to our modern standards, seem to be very modern and democratic. I, would like, if I may, also mention that the beginning of May is a very special time in Poland, not only because of the Constitution, which, uh, whose anniversary is on May 3rd, but also because of the holiday that we celebrate on May 2nd, which is the day of the Polish diaspora and Poles living abroad. It was established by the Polish Parliament back in 2002 in recognition of the great help that Pol Polonia, out, uh, people out of Polish ancestry outside of Poland, offered to our country in the most grim and difficult time and in the assistance we received from the Polish people outside of Poland in regaining independence. We do not know the exact number, but the estimate uh, is that there are up to 20 million Polish people, people of Polish descent, out living outside of Poland, which makes the Polish diaspora one of the biggest in the world. And last but not least, we celebrate May, May 1st in Poland, not so much because it is still a Labor Day there, but there is a more current occasion which makes us very proud too. In 2004, Poland entered the European Union on May 1st which was the most fundamental decision the Polish people took in the last two decades. The decision which proves to be the only right decision that could be taken at that time, because in just 10 years of uh, our EU member, membership, we turned Poland from uh, an economically backward country to a number six economic power in the European Union and the biggest economy in Central Europe. I think we can all congratulate ourselves on these achievements. Thank you very much for hosting us. I would like to finish with saying that we all not only can help you organizing your trip to Krakow, but we can join you going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're here. Yes. Yes. Thank you. And, and Mayor and distinguished guests, I would like to introduce everyone to Dr. Sebastian Mayock.